Hi. Hello, everyone. I know everyone be like, we are these guys. We are Pepin. We are here. So, guys, welcome back. In fact, you guys should be the one telling us welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. We are back. We are back. We are back. So, for those who don't know us, we are the Aposionum. My name is Mercy Aposionum, and here is my husband. And my name is Emeka Aposionum. Yeah, so on our channel, we narrate our story, tell people how we came into Canada, what has Canada given to us, is it worth coming into Canada, what is actually going on in our lives, in, our, in the lives of our kids, is Canada worth it? So on our channel, what we do is we tell people everything we don't come here to you know sugar put everything to look so rosy and see if canada is the best and everything yes it's a good country but we actually let you know what's going on especially if you're coming into this country with your family so you need to know what's up so this is what we do for our <coughs> new um if you're just watching us for the first time please subscribe so you can always see more of our videos yeah, it's been a while. Like I said, my name is Emeka Akbusionu, and um, we really missed you guys, by the way. We do, like we do. We, uh, do we couldn't, we comments. couldn't, we couldn't avoid that breaking transmission. You know, mm -hmm. that period where we're not putting on more videos for you guys to watch. Yeah. You know, it's just basically we ha we had to face other things. Mm -hmm. You know, like businesses, you know, we have to yeah. build businesses. We have to focus. You know, we have to focus because to it's focus. really stressful um, shooting videos and um, trying to take care of four kids. Yeah, we have four kids you now, know, guys. You know. So that's another video for another day. We have a new baby in the house. Yeah. So it has really, really been so hectic like it's not easy trying to work do our business you know take care of the kids then make a time for youtube video it has not really been easy so that's the reason why we were, we've not uh, be on for some time you know mm -hmm. we have to build businesses we have to um uh, we have to make money yes so you that's know that's good we have to make, make money, money. <laughs> like <laughs> Onga will do it to you in this country, like, oh, you will not they give shishi. Uh, you have really, to work hard. Yeah. It's really, it, it, it has not been easy, that's mm -hmm. why. But now we are back, we are fully back. Um, you know what the channel, what we intend to do with this channel is basically uh, tell people our own story. Yes. You know, tell people the struggles we went through. Mm -hmm. You know, what are the things we did differently mm -hmm. to uh, get things going in the right direction? Exactly. So that as many families that are looking at moving to Canada or probably any other country, you know, you, you will not make the mistakes that we made. Yeah. And also, you, would, you guys should be able to make decisions based on our own experiences yeah like you said, know we are learning yeah of course learning. Yeah, of course when you come into another man's country you need to kind of uh, sit back relax and see how things are, are moving before you go into the system fully you don't just rush into it if not hmm, you, you have yourself to be blamed so like we said guys we are promised we are back we yes, we're we are fully back, we're fully and, back. and because we, we, we now have a schedule, mm -hmm. you know, maybe one, uh, maybe as we put in more videos, we'll try to show you guys what our day looks like. Exactly. Trust me, it's really, it's really, so, it's so you, really, you'll be able to evaluate, you guys will be able to evaluate it. In what we are talking about. <laughs> You know, we do like, three businesses. I'm like, we have three are businesses sure? we are, are running sure right we now. We have 24 hours in a day. Like, in Canada, yeah, you could just be looking outside and you will not know it's past 10 already, 10 p.m. And everywhere looks so bright. The time is running. It looks as if 24 hours is no longer complete. Guys, it's not easy in Canada. It's really not easy. But like we said, 
we are back you can drop any comments we're gonna answer it so and if you are new to the channel please mm -hmm. click in the subscribe button yeah and if Join you the family and if you want to ask questions shoot it right down in the comment section we would respond as we said we are back and we are back to give you um, our experience yeah for those that are just joining us and um, you would like to know how we came into Canada, you can watch our previous videos. We have every details there on how we came into Canada. We came into Canada via business route. If you want to know more about it, please watch our previous videos. And also, there are so many people who have been trying to reach me. I know, uh, I, 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 as we said, we have really been busy. You know, very busy. very busy, but I'll try as much as possible to reach out to everybody and make sure everybody is fine. Talking about how we are feeling, how we have been doing, it's not just about us. How are you guys doing? Like, we are all family, right? So, we care about you guys. How have you been doing? I know a lot of people have been trying to reach out to us, ask us questions so we could give them guidelines. We are so sorry, we've not been able to. Um, answer your questions or be there at that moment when you need us we are sorry about that let us know how you're doing if your plan and go we all know everyone has targets and plans for the year as each year starts let's know how your plans are going are you planning to come into canada or any other country let's know what's up about you guys well are you already do you, do you already have your visa mm -hmm. and you want to um uh, reach out to us you know, you are free. Let us know in the comment section what's up with you. So, talking about when we landed, we all know from our pre previous video that um, when we landed, we were in a particular house. Yeah, we did a video about the house, how it looked like, and how much we paid. So, at first, when you are coming from any country, from your home country, and going to another country, you cannot just get an apartment straight away from your country. You have to get somewhere like an Airbnb where you can stay for a few days, plan and get an accommodation for yourself. Yeah, of course. You know, it depends on uh, individual differences. You know, there are some persons or some family who have somebody yeah. Yeah, yeah in canada or probably anywhere you're going that's, to that's a different you know and because you have somebody you probably you're going straight to that person's house, house. yes you understand but coming as a family if you, you even if you have somebody it will be difficult to as a family go and stay yes. in if, a particular if family if really coming or if you're just you it's exactly really easy to just say hello exactly I for some days till i get my own place but exactly three children <laughs> yeah but in our case it was different because we did not have anybody in canada we did not have anybody you know so we had to struggle it out to struggle it you out. know and housing housing is something uh, you just can't do away with wheat you can't do away with housing there need to be roof under your head except you want to expose yourself to the harsh weather and the heat as well I mean, some people do it, they run into shelter houses and all that, but we are with children and that's not what we want for ourselves, so we have to plan ahead. Yeah, so the first thing we did was we got an Airbnb, Yeah. and I think it was around, do um, you remember? I can't remember, but I know the thing, the thing I remember there is we paid in USD, it wasn't in Canadian dollars, it was in USD, and I think it was um, 2500 And it was a, it was a... It was, uh, no, I don't think it's up to 2,000. I think it's about 1,006, 1,007 USD, basically. Yeah, I know it was in USD, but I really can't remember how much we paid. So, and it was a two bedroom Airbnb. Mm, that like, was like what, a big room and a smaller room for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. One, so it was, it was comfortable, it was nice. Extremely comfortable. And, and, and the and, owners were super, super good. Like, they picked us from the airport, helped us in. 
with our luggages and everything like the kids were sleeping because we, we came in late at night right yes uh, and, and the way was so white we're like okay what's this one <laughs> i think that was my first time seeing snow <laughs> everywhere was so white <laughs> so they really helped us they you they, they they pick us up with their with their vehicles and they were responsive like, too very very responsive they, 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 once they, you they, call them yeah they, they respond so i i can also refer them to mm -hmm. though they got us some things like they helped us to do some shopping because we really don't know anywhere and we need to eat and now the kids need to eat so they were really helpful so the first thing was to get an airbnb i think we stayed there for how many days again like was two weeks we, st we stayed we stayed here a month oh my god and some weeks yeah i know we stayed there for a long time we stayed there a month and two weeks but guys it's like uh, that was our choice and what we wanted like you can just come stay there for like a week or few days and if you're able to get an apartment that's it but let's talk about getting an apartment is it that easy it's really it's really terrible <laughs> <laughs> you know, coming coming to coming to Canada without a credit score, every every landlord, every house is we're going to. They don't want to listen to you. They don't want to listen to you because you don't have a credit score. What is credit a credit score? score. <laughs> you know, credit score is um, is a kind of is, if if you've stayed in a Western country or you know, is how it's it's a kind of score that tells anybody. How responsive you are to loan repayment. Okay, we can take one for PG. <laughs> you know, will understand better. Yeah. yeah, like how you must for this country or for any Western country, you must collect EBC. Like you need to be buying things on credit, first of all. So then you pay later. So how quick you paid, all those scores will be building. If you're this kind of person that's like, ah, I, I like buying my things and paying, and, and then like, oh, sorry, we're going to Canada. You have to buy on credit and pay. So with that, you beat your credit score. So when we're looking for an, for an apartment, they were like, what's your credit score? I was like, what's it be credit score? Yeah, and we, and we, we did not have credit score, so it was yeah. difficult. We couldn't get the kind of apartment that we would have that wanted. We you know, not necessarily expensive apartment that we wanted. You know, but something yeah. just nice nice you know mm -hmm. but we, we were not getting it but we got something later on it was i think to the basement to the basement we got the basement we, got and the basement. we had to pay for extra months yes 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 i think you're very correct we, because we didn't have credit score because we did not have credit score we paid for some months normally what we're supposed to pay is the first month and the last month That's if like you have a credit score, score. Mm -hmm. you know but now we had to pay for six months we paid for the first six months i think so yeah. yes we're talking about was it one eight and it was yeah we were paying one one thousand eight hundred canadian and we paid it times six, six months some you people, know some, some, some people will tell you you have to be for 10 months yes and if you and, I've, have and, I've, and i've even seen somebody that paid a friend of mine i've seen somebody that paid for is it nine months eight or nine months so it's okay. it's it's something that when you're coming you need to know it's you need to know these things so you, you you don't uh you don't come unprepared yeah you know it's very important housing you don't want to joke with housing you don't want to joke with it because some people come with that mindset like i'm going to heaven everything there is just working perfectly yes it's a good country but if you don't plan you would fail that is it. If you don't have a particular direction you're going through, you you're gonna feel things. You're just gonna be you're just gonna be finding yourself here and there trying to stand one place. And coming in with kids, you don't want them to start struggling. You want them to sex you. You want them to start schooling. I mean, so we took the basement. Though we had some uh, difficulties there, like it was very very cold. That's one. Yeah, one thing about basement, you know what basement is is those houses that are those those houses that are below the surface mm -hmm. of the earth, like they're in the subsurface. If I want to say that, mm -hmm. you know what it means is that they are not on the on on the ground floor. They are below the ground floor. Below. So because of that, 
you know, if it's far away from the ground floor, if it's below the ground floor, it tends to be more colder. Mm -hmm. You know, so okay, where the fact that the country is cold, exactly. Because the fact that you're staying inside, and now you won't be seeing outside. Like it's so hard to see the light outside. You just it's just like you're inside one hole. Like, Yes, that was what we got at that time. Yeah, it was we, really bad. Yes, the, 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 the house was good. Know, just for you to know how a basement looks like. And and by the way, the landlord was also a nice person though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was, also, he was also responsive too. Responsive. But whenever you call, call, call on him, he comes. Yes, very and wonderful they, man. They were, they were so happy to get us started. Yeah, and very, very wonderful man. Yeah. Here in Canada. It was okay, like I said, it used to be cold and um, another thing I think I don't like about it was the fact that people living upstairs, like whenever they are working or if they're doing anything, you, know, you feel as if, <laughs> you feel as if they're doing it on your head, like you're going to be hearing the sound, bim, 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 bim. So all, the, all those things were things I really did not like about it. Um, and the fact that I, can, I, I just felt like I was being caged like all this time. <laughs> yeah, but the place was a nice place. However, However, there were so many reasons why we decided to leave the place. Yes, so... One of the reasons was uh, our kids were... We're getting sick. Not just our kids, even ourselves. We all got sick. Mm -hmm. The cold was too much. You know this kind of cold where everybody has flu, like coughing, cutter, red eye. You know, every time, every time we're always on either. Yes, you know, like always on either. Yeah, it's just like for smoking. <laughs> like you know, like so that big. So everyone got sick. We're like, oh, okay, this is it. Our I kids, was, our kids also. They are always, they are always having running nose. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was becoming so so much, and we had to start making plans on how to move. move. It's you our know. house, like a normal complete house. And again, another reason why we had to move was because we we're becoming settled, you know. Yeah, things we started really making money, better, you know. And, um, we have, like we said, we have a new member of the family, so we, we become. Another good reason why we left, we left also yes. was because we we had a son, we had a new baby, you know, uh, so we a, a Canadian, a Canadian and Nigerian baby, <laughs> or a Nigerian and Canadian baby. You know, so we were four, four kids, we had four kids, you know, we became six, mm -hmm. so, I mean, we needed somewhere bigger. Somewhere bigger and comfortable, and, and now, for the newborn baby, mm -hmm. yeah, so we are better. So now, we got ourselves a townhouse. Yeah, we got a townhouse, yeah. the townhouse is like a, a duplex back, back home, the way we call it, the three bedroom. Bedroom, you know, and two living rooms, two living rooms and it's, it's nice. Um, two is it two toilets? Uh, two um, bedrooms. Two bathrooms with a toilet, then um, one just toilet, not the bathroom. I think it's two and they call it two. Is it two point two point five? Yes, yeah, something bathroom. like that because yes. one is just a toilet, not mm. um this is the joint. Yeah, they call it two point five or something. Okay, two point five for those that are mm. in two mm. <laughs> this is it's okay. two point five bathrooms, yeah. meaning two bathrooms where you can have your bath, mm -hmm. and the the other one that is referred to as zero point five, just like where you can go and ease yourself it's without bathing visitors. for visitors downstairs. Mm -hmm. So it's you the know so. Is okay, and um, we'll say things are becoming clearer to us. Yes, better. things things are really getting better. You know, it's yeah. it has not been an easy journey, but, it has not been, but uh, each day, each day, new challenges, mm -hmm. new things, and we give God all the glory, anyways. Give all the, we give God all the glory, and um, I would say it's not all bad. Well, let's talk about um, work. You know, there's a lot of things to talk about. So many things to talk about because. Um, the struggle is real. It's very real. You know, it's real. The only thing to those people that are telling you that when you came to Canada, ah, if I go Canada like this, I will first send like two bottles go out. I will feel mm. this. I can't tell. I yeah, can't. yeah. The struggle is really real. You know, because <laughs> living um, our own country, Nigeria, 
we wanted something better yeah. you know we wanted um, a new challenge you know but coming to Canada a completely different ball game entirely you know it was not easy it was not easy mm -hmm. and uh, we used to believe we used to have this mindset that fraud oh, is okay. fraud is only committed by some set of people you know that's what we used to believe like uh only some set of people commit fraud you know but when we came here one of the first shocker of my life i had was um i think it was Chigumaga, our first son was having his birthday during the time when we came yes it was it, that, that period when we came in that was february and his birthday was around the corner so we we're like okay let's just hang out let's just see how he yeah we just wanted to hang out you know let him also enjoy his day mm -hmm. you know and we went to a particular restaurant on getting to the restaurant we saw different different families different people enjoying themselves how we like well everywhere is peaceful this is the kind of thing we want this is the kind of setting we want you know any particular guy was observing us yes he was just seated alone he wasn't there with his family he was just there he, he was there with his guys there were a lot of people with him yeah you know like, he was just staring at us like, they were he boozing. just himself one side you know, you know they were boozing enjoying themselves listening this you were listening to the country music on the background and as a sharp guy i was seeing him the way he was staring at us you know i knew he he wanted to start a conversation you know and of course we are new to the country we also wanted it you yeah. know wanted to talk to people, to people connect and know what is obtainable here you know and the guy found his way to me and he was like how you doing what's your name I told him my name, we introduced ourselves, my wife told him her name, you know, and we got talking. And the guy looked at us and he said, I guess you guys are new to the country. Of course he knew. Of course, the way, you know. <laughs> when you see a newcomer, you definitely know everything is always different. Of course, so he knew we were, he, he, he had the notion that we were new, and it was like, um, he would want to see me on a different day that can we book a meeting where we can talk have a conversation and see what we can do together i mean in my mind i was like is this how nice these people are you know could this be real like our first for me one of our outings and we got somebody that could link us up, fix us up. Ready to hear us out. You know, ready to hear us, uh, give us a soft landing. Somebody who could, who could take us a family, you know. I remember the night, I was like, okay, get ready, get ready, get ready. Go and see that guy. Go yes. And see. I really want to know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what he asked for us. <laughs> oh, I think she was the one that reminded me of the meeting. <laughs> I remember this guy that said, I should go, I wow. should go. You know. Guys, what do you want to And, and uh, but something struck me at when during the course of the meeting, I mean the first oh meeting, he said if I was coming, I should come with my laptop. Mm -hmm. You know, I should come with my laptop and when I call with my laptop, we can talk better. You know, so and you know I started thinking what well, I think I, I brought it up. Yeah, and, and I was like, come with your laptop. What do you have to do with your laptop? There's something he wants to tell you. I mean I think I should just discuss I think you're meeting you're meeting someone for the first time, like 
discussion should just be it for, for the now so what's the problem with your laptop why do you need to come with your laptop your laptop okay anyway since he said so let's just see him first without the laptop and no i think that day you just went on your own you were not yes. with any laptop no just, no 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 i couldn't what am i going with laptop? Well, like i just felt that there, there was no let me hear him out mm -hmm. hear what what he wanted to say the next thing he said um that he can do a cash job for me you know he can that these are these are his guys there were so many guys there he said these are his guys and he will tell me what to do on the laptop you know i'll be doing it and he will pay me cash that these guys here you know and their faces were not looking good at all <laughs> The business was not looking good, you know, and I said, am I open or, or I'm out? Like, he knows I'm from Africa and I know what's up, you know. That was the first uh, shock I had here in Canada. Because with the fact that we have this belief that, okay. Exactly. And he gets to the white you know, man's land and everything is always, you know. You know they all look clean okay. even even back home we didn't indulge ourselves with uh, fraudulent activities mm -hmm. you guys know. the way you have them back home good and good and bad people yes. you have them everywhere yes good i don't bad. think that when you come here you, are, you 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 will not see fraud stars there are a lot of them a lot of them some people empty them. people bank accounts mm -hmm. here you some know. of them are those ones you see on on on, on probably somewhere on on the internet facebook also telling you canada need people um just apply within one month you're in canada you don't need to write ielts when you start hearing all those juicy 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 offer just know that they get your leg so <laughs> so that was how the meeting ended i said no problem and i never contacted him we left i was disappointed mm -hmm. you know we had to go back to the drawing board yes. you know and we started a business you know we're pushing the business contract was not forthcoming it wasn't forthcoming i was like ah are you sure we're on the right track are you sure we're making the the best decision because six months guys first, first six months we're not earning anything like i was pregnant I was having morning sickness, always throwing off. I, I, I was like, okay, I can't get a job now because with all these things, vomiting, very weak, taking care of the kids, I need to take care of myself. So mother was like, okay, just sit down, do not take any job. And he cannot also work for someone else. His visa, his visa says he can only work for himself. So yeah, definitely. So he can't. Work I cannot work for someone. Else. Someone else. It's yes. a close work visa. Mm -hmm. But she can work anyways. Yeah. You know, but she was heavy. I was heavy and, and I was only sick. And she couldn't. So she I, couldn't I, get. I couldn't. She couldn't. Uh, I couldn't go for jobs. Job. She had offers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had offers. In fact, I remember I was just there was one I was supposed to go for orientation that day. I was just being sluggish about it. I was like, are you going or not? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I don't think I want to go. <laughs> and that was how I made up my mind not to go for that job. So guys, business was really, 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 really down. So really slow. And uh, what we're doing was, uh, because I understood, or should I say, because we understood that room was not built in a day, exactly when they expect me to be so easy yeah because we also yeah. know that in every um, stages in in the building phase of a business is always frustrating you know sometimes if you are not if you've not built business before or if you don't if you are not if if you do not persevere or if you are not consistent if you are not able or willing to absorb the shock mm -hmm. you know you might not you might give pull through time. to the next phase yeah so it was what we were doing was we will build the business mm -hmm. during the daytime and look for something else to fetch us money at least and during the nights during the nights 
we used to go for um, I used to go for Uber Eats. Yeah. Like I do, I, I did Uber Drive. Like I I go to drop food take, in people's. He, he, uh, he takes his car. Yes. Get food from different restaurants. Yes. And deliver and Just Uber. Stores. Once you once you register for the Uber so stuff, you, time, you get orders. At the time, I was like, okay, because they usually do it during the night, guys, and it's winter period. So I'm kind of scared. What if he's sleeping on the stairs? He's someone that has worked during the day. So I told myself, I'm like, okay, I want to be going with you. And if, I, if I'm to go with him, he can't leave the kids in the house. So everybody needs to go with him then. We all hop into the car. We're always doing Uber heat. I really want to you no, know, so it, 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 always it, chat with him as he's driving. It so was really fun, you know. But guys, really, I, I'm always the most sleepy. It, it <laughs> I'm always sleepy. It was really fun, you know. The next thing is that I'm losing myself in the house. Hey, baby, we're back. <laughs> like, okay, eh, are we done? <laughs> so we're doing that just to, you know, side hustle until business kicked off. Yeah, so it, this, this, is, this is our story. This is our journey. It was not easy, really not easy. not easy. You know, now we are building three businesses. We are doing three businesses. You know, pushing them little by little. This one will bring this one. This one will bring its own dividends. This one will bring its own dividends. We put it together, and we are moving. You can see what we went through. You know, that's the essence of this channel. Yeah. We want to bring it to you the way it is. We want to bring it to you step by step how we did it you know maybe as time goes on we'll give you our present challenges our present struggles but i can tell you for what i can tell you one thing it's getting better it's getting better there's a huge difference from and, when we started and we look forward to one day also we'll celebrate uh we'll celebrate buying our first house Amen. here in canada yeah i, I can't mean, wait i mean i can't wait that that is that will be the next phase of our life Amen. i will just come with to share it with you guys mm -hmm. so that because you know our struggles you know Definitely how we came to, to this yeah, point we're not, we're not just going to come here and tell you how things went bad we'll also come here and tell you how mm -hmm. things are good and how things are going we really appreciate you guys for listening to us till this time. Thank you so much. We love you. Yeah, for all our subscribe, all our new subscribers, or you're watching us for the first time, please yeah. click on the subscribe button, mm -hmm. comment, let us know how you feel about the video. You know, whatever you think you want to know about that will influence our next video. Because we have a lot of videos anyway. We have a lot of things we want to say. You know, because uh, we just combined all this work so that because of the periods, we're not yeah, giving you guys periods, videos. We're not, we're so I think we have been able to update you guys to a particular point, you know. So we can't do everything on this video. I we'll mean, take it from there. we'll take it from in there in the next video. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Stay have a blessed. wonderful one. Bye. Stay blessed. And we are the world. We are Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.